Buongiorno together and have a great day. Here is Saiken and we're going to continue the Rise of the Robot campaign in XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. We are continuing with a campaign where the only uh, soldiers that are allowed are Psy active soldiers such as the Psyops and the Templar as well as robots and I promised you robots and very soon there will be robots. For now we're trying to get an engineer. It's going to be a pretty difficult mission I assume but I am afraid about that hidden event. Might be something that we do not like. So Operation Sh uh, Swamp Shadow it is. We're flying over and we are going to get Hogbite and his rookies equipped. So make weapons available, yes, make utility items available, absolutely. Hogbite takes the meat shield, has the mech auto pistol. We got True Rebel with the flashbang, we got Russ and we got Toxic. You can see all of them have these nice weapons. Might as well give Toxic a better weapon, the one with the superior repeater. And that's pretty much it. So I am excited beyond uh, the normal means because we are soon going to have proving grounds. That means sparks. And there is even an option to get a second Templar. So it is Templar and sparks for now, but Psyops will come soon. Very good. We have just landed. Time for the rookies to shine again. We got the new upgraded weapons, but we got a network separation mission and that is typically one of the missions which is very high time pressure. And oh my god, is the target far away. That, wow. That is something else. We are aggressively in minimum going to sprint through this one yeah because the network separation very soon is going to tick down and when it has ticked down basically game over for us. We find another network adapter down here. No. One of the things that I learned with those missions is look very carefully because if you miss a network adapter it gets so much more difficult. Okay, we're going to take that high ground here. You know what? Three rounds, there is not enough time for those shenanigans. We're still very much hidden. Are there any other network? adapters. Can't seem to find them. Will do. Good. We're putting toxic over here just in case. We march towards enlightenment. Oh boy. Oh boy, this is going to be interesting. Can't really move over there. Okay, fair enough. But if we were able to hit that purifier and kill it, a guy could blow up and deal a lot of damage to everyone uh, to everyone around. Of course, not to us, but to the remainder of uh, these guys. Yeah, 
Yeah, we need to take a high chance shot, Russ, here. Come on. Well, the part about killing him worked well. And the rest, unfortunately, did not work super well. Hmm. If we were to hit this thing with a grenade, it would begin to fall down. Okay. Trying to find the right position here. Potentially, we're already at the right position. I wanted to move a bit further, but this here is potentially the right position and the right call. It'll take explosive damage, shred, and take fall damage on top of it. There's the fall damage. And if we play our cards right, this here might be a kill. Of course, it's not. That's the problem of mechs at the very beginning of the game. They are just super sturdy. Can't move up here because uh, that would prompt a solid hit with poison. Can't move through here because that's not really an option either. I see almost begs for poison. But we can't fall too much behind. Momentum is really a problem in those missions. Oh boy. Venice one five, they're about to disconnect the transmitter. This is our last chance. Let's take a look. What's a sensible approach here? Oh, okay, so there is yet another transmitter. We're unfortunately not having the action economy. Let's hit the Viper. It's 100% hit. Russ has sort of triggered these guys. Might as well position okay. himself over here. Alright, Viper is down. Now, we gotta get additional 
actions. And we gotta be far enough away both from one another and from the others to not um, be a good target for AoE attacks because that's what uh, that is what the um, enemy mech will probably try to do. Okay, this here is far enough away. Just trying to get us this extra round. Like I said, we're losing a lot of momentum. Luckily, the mech is double moving. I'm not afraid about. Uh, I'm not afraid of the purifier. And there is no watch. Okay, cool. This here could be a good setup overall. Rust does not need to move. We can let him reload. This will shred and at the same time remove cover. Very nice. Alright, let's get the purifier. Oh, come on. Let's get the purifier. The one time that you really, really, really want the purifier to um, explode, it is just refusing to do it. If we're moving that far in, we're going to get the advantage of having uh, the trooper killed. But we are at the disadvantage of essentially pulling most likely another pack. We do not have much time left. Two additional rounds are here. Yeah, this here, if anything, would be the right position. But there is in minimum one more pack. And since it, since it is so close to the target, it probably will not be a good idea to charge in. Can't amplify. So yeah, in that case, this here is more or less the best position I could take. I was sincerely hoping that he would explode, which he did not. So we're going to stand in with a parry. Probably rockets. Nope. That was good. That was fantastic. Most likely going to take a shot now. But luckily we deflected it. Good fucking job. So RNG and bit on our side this time. Alright, moving in. Good, we got a couple of uh, them ready to go. That is quite the opposite of what I wanted to achieve. Good, let's get this guy down.
The mech is also dead. Perfect. Rolling. And toxic over here. It's the free choice. So we got one more over here, one more over here. We're definitely running out of time, guys. All right, we already know that there is no pack here, so I'm going to park him for now. Confirmed. Moving up. One, two, okay. No further connectors here. Maybe, maybe not. There is one more connector down there. Okay, we can hit him, uh, hit that one. Free reload. We're gonna stand in the open, although I hate doing that normally. But we need to really maximize our action economy now. Good. So, this is one extra round. This is another extra round. And that's another extra round. I'm, I'm pretty sure that's that's about it. We gotta get to the actual target. We won't get any more freebies. See, and that's where the autoloader really comes in handy, right? Essentially just reloading and immediately walking towards the target. Don't want to open the door yet. Next turn is when we're breaching the door. I am expecting that there, the last pick might be inside. The autoloader is fantastic for gaining momentum. And momentum in XCOM 2 is underappreciated because a lot of people don't understand the ripple effects of just... Yeah. Missing that one reload. And then essentially in the next round not being able to do X, Y, Z. Good. Next turn. Next turn, we're going to Moving out. definitely place the C4, no matter what. Got a couple of overwatches. There's definitely one more pack. Yeah, like I said. Good. First things first, we're planting the C4. And that puts an end to this timer. The X4 charges are active, but the aliens are still working to isolate the transmitter. Eliminate any remaining hostiles before they cut it off. Well, let's try to get the stun lancer. Oh boy. Behave. That is a lot of damage. Okay. Moving in. That's another Alarium core, fantastic. Yeah, sure. Ammo. 
Six to seven. Okay. If we're amplifying it. There we go. Nice little crit. And we're getting some extra focus. Wonderful. Yeah, a bit of wounds uh, that we've taken, but yeah, overall, a pretty clean mission. The number of hit points that we needed to chew through was immense. So yeah, a lot of hit points to chew through, and that is what made it so difficult. If you have a Viper, a Stun Lancer, and a Mech, even with a weapon upgrade, it's still going to be pretty difficult. We cannot do any promotions here, but yeah, Hogbite had done a fantastic job in the last mission. Unfortunately, not promoted yet. Got another Alarium Core, which is another half spark and some mechs. Plus an engineer. Engineer is super helpful. Oh, what was... Uh, I didn't see what the dark event was that we countered. We'll see it on the end, uh, on the end screen. And some more clearing of uh, the machinery here. You know what? By thinking about it, let's just speed up the GTS a bit more. I think getting that squad side upgrade and also the PCSs will be quite helpful. On the other hand, only nine days to... Uh, we wanted to do Psionic Rush, so I should play how the campaign dictates it, which is getting psy Psionics relatively fast. How's that still? 31 days. Okay, so... Yes and yes good and that results in yeah 17 days okay cool so we don't need additional rookies but we also don't need supplies well maybe on the other hand rookies for psyops hmm We haven't lost anyone really. Mm, nah, we're going for Intel for now. I can always purchase rookies. We got enough supplies. That's not the limiting fact. We probably need more Intel for now. Some of our people are a little worse for wear after Good, perfect. Over. All uh, scanning rewards are doubled if we're taking Luno Cable. And now it's time to recruit. What? Requires a... Oh. Okay, how do we get a higher... A higher influence? Are you kidding me? So are you telling me that, well, Psy operatives could be of sergeant rank and debuff. Elsewise, we couldn't improve the factions, which means we couldn't kill the chosen. Ouch, that would make uh, the last mission a bit more difficult. Damn, and I was hoping for a second Templar. Good. Alien loot isn't bad. I like the promotion aspect here. Let's take a look. So, whom are we putting onto it? Sonar and... Let's put Raul onto it as well. Only got a wounding chance, that's fine. And 17 ability points will be plenty for us, that's good. So, next stop, Psionics. And until then, we can hopefully uh, just move forward. And, uh, oh, by the way, in nine days also the Proving Ground, that would be fantastic. Getting some more intel.
and we get another raid. It's not bad. Almost done, by the way, with the Proving Grounds and the Psionics. The raid will be important because it will give us additional Alarium. Some more alloys. The alloys will be important for the armor upgrade that is long overdue. And yeah, as soon as Proving Grounds are done, we can finally get the sparks with the psionics generally almost done we can also start um, building the psi lab here this will give us you know, a decent amount of alien alloys no alarium though yeah, let's already fly over and then we're ending today's uh, series Setting cores for the supply rate. As always, supply rates are a bit more difficult. I'm expecting this to be rather difficult. And I'm also expect fully expecting that we're going to meet the Chosen up here. But that's fine. We recovered a bit of intel. We're now at 34, which is okay, I suppose. Not enough to already make contact to South America, but it is fine overall. I think the next contact will be North America, uh, will be Europe, and then up into Eastern US, so that we can get another uh, factory down. Yeah, this here would be one, two, three hops. A bit too far. Good. Let's take a look at our soldiers before we end today's uh, run. Of course, Hogbite is tired as always, but I will not let him. Maybe I can just ever so slightly fast forward until his tiredness ends. That should be possible. And then we can take him plus a couple of the rookies. Yeah, and essentially do the mission in terms of timing uh, uh, that should be the last mission where yeah well i shouldn't say that gts is still a bit away and hawkbite is only a lieutenant yet that means only one squad size upgrade so yeah proving ground will help us with getting another spark and that's pretty much it and yeah in order to upgrade the other soldiers we definitely need uh, more alarium and need to build the psi rush but we got psionics so that's the start for that as well now slowly but surely the all the puzzle pieces are coming together with proving grounds and the psionics in yeah probably still within may time frame i mean it's nine days so kind of Towards the end of May, it will be cleared, and then beginning of June, we will have psionics. Um, it's not the fastest rush, but still decent. We're we're only two months in so far. Um, yeah, with that, everything seems to be slowly but surely coming together, and we already got weapon upgrades. We'll soon going to have armor upgrades as well. You should not uh, forget about th uh, that. And yeah, the rookies will need to do until then. If you like what you're seeing guys if you like the rise of the robots run don't forget to leave a comment and a like that is how the videos are getting more popular on youtube and we all see each other in the next run take care bye bye